right back to it here. Welcome back to uh, the second episode in this uh, Thursday trilogy of episodes that are all coming out on the same day. Uh, if you're coming from episode 54, welcome. And if you're not, welcome. Uh, I appreciate you uh, listening. Uh, let's talk about this uh, absolute monster of a pitcher out there, uh, Paul Skeens. He is an absolute certified problem. Uh, and the uh, the reason behind the title of uh, of this episode is because you know the the fact is you can define the skeins problem in however you would like pretty much all of my reasons uh for you know he he's a problem for the league you know and then you can't uh you can't hit that i mean that's just the way that he just effortlessly can throw that hard and locate like that is uh is absolutely insane to me uh and he he does it with ease and uh you know he's uh he, he's just an absolute problem out there i mean you know he uh he he's just looks fucking unstoppable and uh funny enough i the coolest fact that i recently learned uh uh, one, it's, you know, Skeens, he started the All-Star game. Uh, unfortunately, we got, you know, one pitch at bats for uh, two of the four batters that he faced. So, you know, that wasn't uh, too great. I personally, I think people, I think they just didn't want to strike out, which is understandable. You don't want to get struck out. In the first inning of the All Star Game, I get it. You probably don't want to. And you know it's Paul Skeens. Everybody's going to be watching. You know I kind of said this in the in the previous episode, but you know, I get it. You probably don't want to strike out. Fine, but I just wish Aaron Judge took a pitch. And I said that in the last episode, and I promise this is the last episode I'll bitch about it. But I just wish he took a pitch. Okay, just take one pitch. Give us at least two. Okay, fine, but oh man, I just I just wanted to enjoy that a little bit more. I watched it on replay, and and uh, and I'm just like, damn! If I was watching this live, I would have been even more annoyed. You know, I knew it, I knew the result already, just because I saw it on fucking Instagram. But uh, but yeah, I mean, Paul Skeen's just it, it, he's one of those pitchers. It's like you. You just gotta take it in. You gotta enjoy. And uh, I I know that recently he uh, what was it? Oh, uh, July eleventh. July eleventh, he almost threw a no hitter against the Brewers. Uh, he had eleven strikeouts. They took him out after uh, seven no hit innings and uh, ninety nine pitches. They took him out and. Uh, I, I mean, I get it. You probably don't want to leave him in. That's a lot of pitches, and I know the Pirates did not pull off the fucking no hitter either. So, that kind of blows. But you, uh, I mean, it's uh, the thing, the uh, kind of the elephant in the room, I guess you could say. I've had a lot of people say, you know, it's like walking Tommy John, like he's gonna get. He's going to fuck up his elbow eventually. It's almost inevitable. The The reality is, it's pretty much, it, it damn near seems inevitable for any pitcher at this point. I mean, it's just, no matter how cautious you are, you're seeing guys get fucking elbow injuries. And it's like, I, for the sake of, you know, the longevity argument of, of a Paul Skeens, you know, the health of the elbow or whatever the fuck you want to say uh, to, you know, kind of be like, you know, this may not be forever. It's like, whatever. It's like the the time will show what the time will show. And it's like, you know what? Unless if he's got an arm, he can find a way to pitch. So it's like, you know, we we won't know until, uh, until you know, just the, until more baseball happens. I mean, shit. 
he's a he's a absolute just master out there right now uh and he's a rookie he got drafted last year he was pitching in college and then he threw a little bit in uh I think double a I think I think they put him in double a and he threw a little bit but not much but this dude was uh this dude was pitching in college last spring and uh and and now he he's starting the all-star game you know pitching against Aaron Judge he walked Juan Soto on a on a pitch that looked like it could have been a strike if the uh if the catcher caught it and maybe stuck it then you know maybe there's a chance there but i i I'll be honest I had little plans for for this episode outside of just you know i I hadn't talked about Paul Skeens yet you know on on really on this podcast and you know with uh with him starting the all star game recently and you know just him i i think he's got like a one point nine e r a you know, and, and the fact it, I'll tell you one thing, the uh, the just the the way that he's able to locate the slider, I think he's got a splitter or something, and and the fastball, you know, just the way that he can drop those pitches pretty much wherever he wants. That that is just that 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 ability to locate with that velocity is you know nothing that's nothing to sneeze at i mean <laughs> i mean put it plain and simply don't you dare sneeze at that idea i would be absolutely offended if you did and uh yeah if uh if a pitcher is the first guy since uh dwight gooden in 1986 to do something uh i.e. be a rookie starting in the all-star game uh that means he's pretty fucking good and uh i watched a mets documentary recently and not recently it's it was a while ago i don't know why i said recently it was not at all recently i watched a mets documentary and uh you know it was it was about that time you know from it might have been like early 80s to like 86, but it was mostly about, you know, the mid 80s Mets who were really good and uh, and won a World Series, which uh, which I think was in 86 when uh, when Dwight Gooden was a rookie and uh, watching watching those clips of him pitching from that documentary was just absolutely fucking uh, insane. It, it was just so impressive to watch just somebody who looked like he outmatched everybody out there who who was just on that mound and just like I I don't want to make you know Bob Gibson could be you know a little much I mean I when you think about Bob Gibson at his absolute best you know he's probably above you know the best of a Dwight Gooden obviously but uh the it, it's a similar feeling. It's absolutely a similar fucking feeling that I get from from those three guys. I mean, you know, Bob Gibson just, you know, pretty much dominated his whole fucking career. Dwight Gooden, you know, absolute dog for, I think, at least a handful of seasons. But, you know, that I'm talking about that 86 Dwight Gooden in comparison to this Paul Skeens that we've got in front of our eyes right now, uh, those two pitchers, you take those two pitchers and they can go, you know, toe-to-toe with a Bob Gibson out there, and I'll take them. You know, a rotation of those three guys is, you know, you you might have three no-hitters for all you fucking know. You really might. You know, throw in a Nolan Ryan, or we could just, uh, we could just do another dream pitching rotation episode, you know. Ooh, wouldn't that be crazy? We could do it a second time. That actually could be a decent idea. My nerdy ass might like that, and uh, we'll have plenty of uh, plenty of time to make some fun episodes here. I'm gonna spend a little more time trying to come up with uh, various ideas and shit, and various things to talk about while I, uh, you know, sit here on my, uh, you know, I got this folding table and uh, in this really shitty chair. This absolute, like, joke of a chair. Super light. 
but uh, if you lean back any bit far, you go over. It's just not the greatest, but it's fine. I was able to carry it from uh, from Ross, so it uh, it worked out. And uh, is that uh, as far as skeins? I mean, listen, man. If you if you absolutely hated me, just like fucking uh, losing it over, you know, just fucking gushing over how good this fucking pitcher is for you know that ten minutes. If you fucking hated that, I'm sorry. Whatever. That's what this podcast is. You know, if it's an episode by myself, it's like. I, if I once once I run out of you know kind of my points and I'm just like well I think that's fucking it what the fuck else is going on and then after that you know we usually wrap it the fuck up so uh, I that that seems to be you know the usual format for a uh, an episode by my lonesome but you know every once in a while we do uh we do some uh, creative ones as well I mean I guess it's all creative. But yeah, now that I'm uh, thinking about it, well, I might do another uh, dream pitching rotation episode. And uh, I mean, it, I feel like I didn't do it that long ago, but uh, it, it's probably going to change now. Now that I'm thinking about it, we got Bob Gibson, Dwight Gooden. I Paul Skeens wouldn't go in there, though. I mean, I Paul Skeens is in that comparison. He's with the vibe on the mound. It's like I think he's... Like, it, it, I feel like it would be a similar feeling of just feeling outmatched. Just entirely outmatched. Like, you're going to get overpowered. Like, it's fucking Paul Skeens, like the Bob Gibson out there, and uh, and Dwight Gooden in 86. I feel like if I'm in the box, I know I'm fucked. And it's and it's a similar kind of fucked, you know? I I think that's the best way that I could really put that. <clears throat> God, my my throat is... It doesn't feel scratchy, but I feel like my voice sounds different because I'm fucking exercising it. I gotta talk and shit at work, too, so I maybe my, my, my vocals are, are gonna get worn out here, but I I think I'm... I think I'm good. I think this is uh, this is what I got for this episode. Um, here, here's actually my final... final thing I'll leave you with. Uh, something I always remembered... Uh, Past normal corn belters manager, uh, Brooks Carey, uh, been around baseball his whole life. I know he won a championship with the uh, New Jersey Jackals of uh, uh, in the uh, at the time it was the Can Am League, I think, uh, and uh, independent ball uh, team uh, won a championship there. Uh, and uh, but that, that wasn't the point of what I was gonna fucking say. What I was gonna fucking say. Uh, as, as far as the priorities when throwing a pitch, this is the, the order of priority of what's most important. Most important, location, then movement, then velocity. And, you know, being able to do all those, that's, uh, it's not, not easy to do. Not easy to do at any level and, uh, you know, skeins right now. Uh, being able to locate that fucking 102 mile an hour fastball on the corners, being able to drop that slider in there at like fucking 91 or whatever, uh, and and just and just know where it's going. You can tell he knows where it's going every time, and it's uh, it's just crazy. You know he's uh, he's been pretty fucking unstoppable, and it's uh, it, you uh, you just gotta take it in while uh. While we can, we got a whole second half of uh, of baseball left. I think uh, I think I think we'll call it the close. We'll call this the closing. Uh, yeah, if you're listening this far, I really uh, appreciate it. Again, this is uh, episode two of three that are uh, being released all on the same day here. So, uh, first time I've ever done that shit. So again, I'm I'm trying to make up for the. Uh, lack of consistency and you know again i still don't know when these are going to come out every week but we'll fucking figure it out my goal is every week and uh if you're along for the ride i really do uh appreciate it i mean it's uh i'm i'm excited to to dive back into this here and you know i'm I'm right in the middle i'm finishing up the second one and the uh the bullpen league episode seven uh it's a all-star break kind of uh update episode is uh gonna be coming out 
as uh, at the same time as this one. So, uh, yeah, again, thank you very much for uh, for listening, and uh, I'll be back once again. Nolan Ryan also pretty fucking unstoppable. With Nolan Ryan, I'll take, I'll take over. You know, you know that's it. You know, I I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I, I promise. I'll I'll come back to it. I'll come back. Okay. All right. Bye.